right. So, uh, Coach, uh, you, you get a you know a first conference victory against a team that HSU throughout the years uh, hasn't had the best success against. So then you lose on Saturday, but the first week of conference play in Southern California, I'm, I'm sure you, you're, you're really pleased to, to get split down there. Yeah, going down there and going one on one on the road against two strong teams is a good way to start the conference. Um, of course, you'd always love to go two and zero starting out. You know, with Pomona, San Bernardino, it's that's a tough weekend. Um, so starting with Friday night against Pomona, it's probably the best match you know that we played um, in the areas that we've been talking about that are necessary for us to be successful. Our defense was was good. Our serve receipt was very good, and we remained consistent. We we were able to win in three, which is something that we have really been trying to stress with these guys. If we have a team down 2-0, we don't want us to have a let up and you know lay off of them and let them come back. I mean, it was close. The 26-24 win in the, in the third was a little stressful, but I was really pleased to have gone down there and been able to beat them in three sets and have more time to rest and prepare for the San Bernardino match on Saturday night. Um, and then unfortunately, we didn't really, we didn't have our best match Saturday night against San Bernardino. We, we passed very well, um, which is a, an emphasis that we're always putting on the girls, but um, we were struggling finding the hitters. The, the set location was inconsistent. Our transition offense wasn't there because we weren't able to get them opportunities within making digs, and then they're you know just having to put balls over the net instead of getting up and terminating, which is what we needed to do against a good team like that. The more opportunities you give San Bernardino, the more trouble you're going to be in. Um, but they were beatable. They you know they they were bigger than us. Um, their setting was pretty good, quite good actually. Um, but overall, from the weekend, one and one. We're talking about the home opener. Uh, tell me about this detour that you guys took. Uh, we, know, we know that uh, traveling to uh, schools in the Bay Area and Southern California. So talk about your travels. Well, getting home on Sunday is what you're referring to. Sure. I'm guessing. Yeah, well, that was an adventure in itself. We ended up trying to get home Sunday night late after the weekend, and um, we weren't able to land due to the visibility issues here in Arcata. And so we ended up flying back up, in the, up into the air and back to San Francisco, and where we spent most of the night haggling with United, trying to get on the next flight out in the morning, which was not available by the time we got to the, after going through one wrong line, <laughs> we got to the next line and found out, uh-oh, we're, um, we're not going to get on a flight unless we wait all night and all day tomorrow. So it was going to be midnight the next night, tonight, actually, or no, that, was la that would have been last night. Um, that we would have been coming home and who knows if we would have been able to land then as well. So we ended up renting vans and making it home. Not quite in time for classes, but um, you know, we were home midday yesterday and the girls are, were exhausted as were the coaches. Um, but we rested yesterday and we are going to practice lightly today and then have two you know, very focused, very probably a little bit longer practices uh, in preparation for this weekend. Just another day in the life of... Humboldt County living, right? Yeah. <laughs> Well, after so many uh, so many uh, weeks on the road, I'm sure it seemed like probably a month or even even more. It but like forever. But finally, Lumberjack Arena is yours uh, this weekend, Friday night. Uh, we know obviously the seniors on this team very familiar with uh, Lumberjack Arena. You got mm -hmm. some players that will probably take to the court for their first time in their careers yeah. at, at Humboldt. Uh, so talk about the excitement being home, but uh, how is your approach uh, on Friday? Well, we're very excited to be home, and it, I, it, three weeks is all it's been. It does feel like a couple of months that, since we've been here. Um, they've been longer road trips, too. It's not just been a couple of nights, you know, and, and then this one was extended as well, this past one, unfortunately. Um, so we are super ready, super fired up to be playing at home this weekend. We've got Stanislaus on Friday and Chico on Saturday night, and um, we're very much looking forward to this weekend. Um, and the seniors, I think, yeah, you're right. They, you know, are all the returning players. They, they've played here before. They know what to expect. And then the newcomers are getting their first opportunity to get out there in Lumberjack Arena and play in their first home opener. And so we're very excited. We're looking forward to a tough weekend. Um, Stanislaus have been watching video on them all, all morning, and they're, they're good. They're, we've got two very good teams, so kind of si somewhat similar teams that we're up against, which is kind of nice when you're going to back to back. Um, they're. They're not huge. Neither team is, a, is huge as, as are we, where we have a couple girls on the team that are over six feet, but we're all pretty smaller, ball control, good volleyball playing teams. So it should be some exciting volleyball this weekend. Um, is, looking at uh, the video and uh, being at home, 
Um, even though you guys did lose on Saturday, you guys momentum on your guys' side? Oh, we feel good. I mean, we, we feel like we lost as a result of things that are within our control, which is always a good feeling instead of going, oh, wow, we, we couldn't have beat them nine times, you know, one out of ten times. And so you feel like, okay, we make a few adjustments here and there. Um, we feel like we can beat just about anybody that we go up against. And, um, yeah, Stanislaus is a hard – they play hard. Um, they are – ball control players, they are talented, they don't make mistakes, they set everybody on the team, everybody's involved, which is always a challenge. Um, and they've got experience. They, they, like us, have quite a larger number of upperclassmen and seniors and juniors on the team that will be playing, and so it's going to be a battle of veterans, and uh, like I said, I expect a lot of long, hard-fought rallies this week.